Hey winners, and welcome to a game called Evangeline, I think. Might be Evangeline. Either way, this is on Steam. I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to check it out. And it had some positive reviews, so I thought it might be something worthy of checking out. I really liked the storyline. It's about love and being with the ones you love. So I thought that might be perfect. So let's hit play. Ooh, graphics options. Uh, let's do... Hi. Sure. Evangeline is a game heavily focused on color. Please choose the option that best describes you. I am not colorblind. It is difficult for me to see green. It is difficult for me to see red. It's difficult for me to see blue. It's difficult for me to see color at all. That's actually really considerate and really nice. I am very, very impressed, developers. I like that you took all of that into account. But I am not colorblind, to my knowledge. So let's hit that one. A lot of kudos to you guys. In 1847, American author Henry Wadsworth Longfellow published Evangeline, a tale of Akadi, a long form poem chronicling uh, the tale of the expulsion of the Acadians from Nova Scotia to the or by the British. It told the story of Evangeline an Arcadian woman searching for her loved lover, Gabriel. While grossly inaccurate with respect to the historical events it represented, Evangeline is a story about love, and it's one of the many reasons we picked that name for our game. Love, life, love, and loss inspired this experience, and from the bottom of our hearts, we hope it has as much meaning to you as it does for us. Oh, I like that. Let's do start game. Ooh. A percentage. Day one, fresh air. I'm kind of in control. So as you guys know, I like really story rich games. Oh, I'm just infinitely spinning. Oh God, everything's turning black and white. Ah! I picked I'm not colorblind, right? Why am I perpetually turning right? Is that normal? I'm guessing that's normal. Uh, I can't read that. Uh, spacecraft? I legit can't read that. Why am I spinning? Hold on. Am I, am I supposed to be spinning? Hi guys, so my controller being plugged in was what was causing me to constantly rotate right. And it says someone recommended playing with controller. So then I tried moving my controller, but it just, it was screwing everything up. So I have to actually have it unplugged in order to have this not be an issue. So everything's black and white. That is what we know. And I did get a little far before I got frustrated and restarted the game and tried to figure out what was going on. But my color comes back every time I hover over whatever that is. Because fun fact, when you're constantly turning right, this next part is extremely hard. So I had to redo it. So in order, so before I click on that, it seems like that's a big part of the game is hovering over objects. So if you guys are encountering the same issue, make sure your controller's unplugged. Good, good plans are good. But let us look at this flower. That crows are, ooh, that was pretty music. Day two, trash day. Okay. So I wonder why everything's black and white for us sometimes, but not always. I'm guessing it's a hint at depression. Is my assumption, what does that say? Uh, I can't zoom in, so I can't exactly see what this, oh, everything's black and white again. Sad. Trash can, oh. Oh, oh, it was light out here gone now. Hi, birds. Hi. Everything's in color again. Why is that? Hi, guys. Hi, guys. I love them. Oh, my God. They're, they're like, all hovering around me. I am the bird whisperer. All right. Uh, I have to aim somewhere on here. Oh. Am I putting it out on the curb? How do they have it? Just on the curb. Okay. Probably where they... Oop. Oh no, physics. Okay. So when I do stuff, 
There's color. Is what I'm getting. Like when I do stuff that's meaningful? Oh, there we go. And, which would make sense. Hey guys, so there's this thing over here. I had to kind of look up what to do next, but then I realized there's a bunch of stuff around here I've been missing. So, letter. If I can get three more lawns to cut for the remainder of the summer, I'll have enough for a brand new transmission. I can swap it in and I can swap it in about two days with Drew's help, and then we'll still have a week to ask Jessica to go to the back to school dance. She'll say yes. I know it. No one else has a car at school. I'll be there first. Use mass to scroll. Well, there's not much to it. Okay. There is also something over here that I'm not sure happens during the trashness or if it was here before, but there's something on the floor over here. Journal. Dear diary, I have a confession, but I think everyone has a confession. So is it really that big of a deal? I think sometimes people have big ones while others are tiny, like white lies. I feel my white lie is going to destroy me, Jessica. What's her white lie? Does that count? Now the birds aren't there. They've all flown. They've all migrated. <gasps> yes, that is what I do. Okay. So always go back to the pot after I've done my... I, after I've done my objective. But my first instinct was actually right. Day three, extra, extra. <gasps> newspaper? I'm guessing that's newspaper, but it seems like every time I start, there's new stuff. Because... When I restarted, the first area didn't have that note on that car or anything. So I'm guessing it's this. Classifieds. I cannot read that. Reach out to News Corp today. Okay. Do I go where the... I cannot read that at all, guys. Let's bring it inside. Because I would guess that's what we're supposed to do. Might work. It does. Hey, I figured it out. Day four, snail mail. So let's get the mail. So this is like a bunch of tasks you would do on a daily basis. And they make me feel better. It does. Letter. Okay. I have a letter, guys. That's super exciting. Let's bring that inside as well. Put it on this table. Can I read it, actually? No? Oh, okay. I just, I have mail, and I don't know what it says. Is it the same one? Ugh, the edger is busted again. I replaced the wiring not too long ago, and it worked for a bit. Man, if I have to get a new edger, that'll put me behind schedule, and the Cam Camaro won't be ready in time for the dance, and then I know Jessica will say no. I hope no one notices. Jessica's the one with the deep, dark secret. Ooh, Jessica, what shade you up to? White lie. But if it's killing her inside, like, that's suspicious. So here's the notebook again. Dear diary, I don't think anyone knows, but it's almost as if they do. I can sense their eyes on me when I walk through life and I feel so alone. I saw myself in the mirror and I looked at myself the same way strangers look at me. Oh, hon. So it sounds like she's got a lot going on. Some personal stuff going on. All the birdies are flocking to the flowers. I like it. Uh. Uh, I'm not on the next day. Everything's just brightly lit. Oh, it's not now. What? Okay. Do I go back to my house? What? Oh, the mail. What do I do? Day five, package deal. What? There's a package at the end of my driveway. Package. Okay. It's from the company that made this game. Uh, okay, so we're just gonna put that back here, I guess. I don't know what the package is for, but let's read these people's notes again. Oh, there are none. Oh no. Which is strange. 
Camaro. Oh, okay. For some reason, I thought it was like a yellow Camaro. It's like Bumblebee. <gasps> Birdies. Okay, so I'm guessing I go back to my package. The one I received. I'm not sure if I'll ever know what's inside. Oh, these trash cans are getting in my way. That is what I do. Yeah! I wonder why I have to go to the flowers. Day six, crossing the threshold. What? To my door? No, I guess not. Crossing the threshold. There's no notes. <gasps> there is. I lied. Hey. Great. The Millers talked to me about the edges. They kept saying that they thought I was doing a good job. Great job. But other people were complaining. <sighs> sure. Other people. Now I have to get... Uh, now I have to get the new edger. There goes my shot with Jessica. Buddy. Let's read this. Dear Diary, I finally came out and talked to Drew about my secret. He was very sweet and understanding. He said I needed to talk to my parents, but I told him that I was afraid of what they would say. He said, as long as you are true to yourself, they can't be mad, and if they are, then in time they will come around. The end is never really the end. I wonder what you have to tell them. Oh. That car pulled out fast. And it destroyed everything with it. I wonder if I missed some stuff. There are no cars. Except for his car, which is busted, and my car in the garage. But otherwise, no cars are outside. And there were cars outside before. The door's open. Enter house. There's some pretty music happening, but I don't know what's happening. Home. Where have I been this whole time? I'm inside a house now. I thought for some reason I was always going to be in a loop outside. Rules and regulations, please honor them. Welcome, guest. When you are leaving... I can't read the rest. In honor of people on diets, we will try to accommodate your needs. No desserts, no takeouts, no sneaking food in or out. Please. Wow. We have on hand slim fast cans, slim fast bars, tuna, no credit cards, cash only. I am very nervous. Please. The management. Huh, so it was. It's like a bed and breakfast? Almost? Am I staying at a bed and breakfast? Alright, so this is a nice, quaint little house. This wallpaper, though. I guess that's the point I was trying to give. It's everywhere! Oh, God! Okay. I have a feeling that's where it wants me to go. I'm a vampire! I have no, rea I have no reaction. I have no reflection. That's what I don't have. Alright. Oh, tenant. This toilet is working or in working order, and I can't find the problems you mentioned. In fact, it's one of the finest specimens I've ever seen. Let me know if you have any further issues, Andy. The toilet is one of the finest specimens you've ever seen. Interesting. Okay, I can't interact with anything else. So, looks like one person is sleeping in that bed because only one side was disrupted. The other side was made. So we're going over here. This is all that's upstairs. Oh, I'm probably supposed to go outside. Oh, it's the plant. Okay, hold on. Want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Oh, there's a fun, happy family photo. Well, the baby. All right. So I can't interact with the globe. There's like several of those green vases. The time is 1.50. Okay. Old timey photos. Oh. Okay, let's go outside. Oh, there's a note, a letter. My dearest Evangeline, these are your favorite flowers, spider lilies. I make sure to catch, change, I make sure to change them every day for you. You made my life incredible. Our wedding day was a moment that, in some ways, feels as if it were years ago, but in other ways, feels as if it occurred just yesterday. 
On that day, we began a journey, one that was filled with ups and downs. We brought two beautiful children into the world, and they have been the best part of our lives from the moment we knew our family would grow larger. After I was drafted for the war, you waited for me. When I anxiously suggested you move to a place you had never heard of in order to marry me, you graciously accepted. This is me trying to scroll. <laughs> when I had begun my residency, you took care of our daughter, even when I could not pull my weight. With patience and kindness, love and affection, strength and courage, you helped our family remain strong and connected. I'm gonna just get to the end, hold on. There is no one I would have wished to spend my life with more than you. Sometimes, life has a different plan. I think about that day a lot. Keeps me awake at night. This is the only way that I can be strong. Even after all these years. By leaving you notes and flowers, just like I used to. You always told me that it was a de my destiny to be a doctor. But my beloved... It pains me to walk into the ward because it only causes me to remember that dreadful day. When I received the call, it was too late. I panicked. I rushed to you. I frantically asked the nurse if this was a horrible misunderstanding. We loved our son so very much when we even knew him. And I'll never forget the smile you had when we spoke of who he would become and all of the adventures we would undertake together. But I never could have imagined that I would trade you for him. In a heartbeat, you were gone. And I was never able to tell you goodbye. I was alone in this world, trapped in solitude, raising our son by myself during the day and working at the hospital at night. I never slept so much. You teased me about it, how I begged to be teased by you just one more time. To hear your laughter echo echoing throughout our home to bring you your morning coffee and chat about life love and the world three cups one for me one two for you because you taught me to like coffee they're not quite as much as you enjoyed it in a good way i am glad that we never said goodbye now i leave you flowers and write these notes just like when you were here for you will always live on in my heart. Decades have passed, seasons have come and gone, the world has changed beyond recognition, but you will always be my world. I can't keep the flowers inside, for being around them too long reminds me of a gaping hole in my life ever since your beautiful soul left this world. Our grandchildren are lovely. I tell them about you every single day, and it's as if they knew you. Oh, how my heart wishes they could have truly known you. For the world is not as rich as one in which you were here. I love you, Evangeline. I always have, and I always will. Thank you for your wisdom, kindness, and love. I hope you love the flowers. You would have killed me if you knew how expensive they were. All my love, Gabriel. This game was made with and about love. Now we need to ask something of you. Pick up the phone and call someone you love just to tell them that you do. We'll wait. Press enter three times to continue. Oh man. Hey River! I love you. <laughs> River don't care. At the end, after that, it says, We hope you just had a meaningful experience with someone you love. After the credits, you'll be returned to the game where you can read other letters filled with real love stories until you're finished. Thank you so much for being a part of Evangeline. Share this with someone you know so they can connect with their loved ones too. Love, 
Recontour Games. Evangeline. And credits. So I already did an outro, but I'm gonna do another one to replace that one because I didn't realize that this was here. Colorblind accessibility testers. I, I really did appreciate that. Like a lot of developers and a lot of game creators don't think about that. They don't think about that color might be important in their game, but people who are colorblind might not see the color or register it as the same color. So I really like that. We mistakenly forgot to include our lovely brand, band, brand, manager, Catherine in our first game's credits. Sorry, Cat. Aww. Sad. At least you remembered her now. I'll take it. But yeah, this is, this was very thoughtful. And it definitely highlighted to appreciate your loved ones while they're around. Because you never know when they're not going to be around. And that's always scared me. I don't, I've only really, I've lost really close to me, like really close, probably my cat, aww, and all of our friends, families, and colleagues who helped us make this game possible in some way, shape, or form. And you. The only people I have lost really close to me are aww, in memory of Big George, Jack, and Granny, and all the other worlds grandparents and loved ones who enriched our lives with their love, wisdom, and understanding. Messages from the team. I don't know what to say. <laughs> thank you to Nick and Recontour team for letting me be a part of something so special, and thank you to my partner for being so supportive. I hope you found my hidden message. Jess. I want to thank everyone who's helped guide our development for Evangeline. Uh, if this experience helps at least one person reach out to a loved one, it'll all have been worth it. Oh, this world is full of so many negative things, but love defeats them all. Thank you to my team, my family, and my departed grandparents, Big George, Jack, and Granny. I miss you more than anything. Thanks for playing our latest Recontour story. We're excited to share even more soon. Our next story will be revealed soon, but don't forget what you've learned here. Aww. I love games with a message so much. Is that it? It keeps surprising me and keeps going. Oh, okay, it's the ending again, I guess. Yeah, because, like, now my mouse is not completely locked in. So that's strange. I can't... I can't click on anything. Oh, there's another note. I can't click on it, though. It's, like, red and angry. Did you guys see that? Oh. There's so many notes. Oh, these are probably the notes of loved ones. For some reason, it's broken for me. But that's okay. It'll be for if people want to read them, they can. Because I'm pretty sure if you guys can get it to work. These are all the notes of people. Wow. Evangeline. That's really neat. I really wish I could read these, but I can't. It's not letting me. And I'd have to restart the game. But, again... I keep starting the story and I'm never able to finish it. I've only lost my cat, my grandpa, and then my aunt and uncle. Um, and that says only, but so many people have lost so much more. And I luckily had quite a bit of time with those individuals. So like my cat my whole life and my grandpa up until a couple years ago and then my aunt and uncle up until about college. Um, so I didn't really experience a lot of death at all but I am afraid of it but this game kind of reminds you to not be afraid and just love people while they're still here because that's really important since so many people forget to do that so I encourage you guys to do the same please reach out to loved ones if you haven't if you know people that you care about and you would want to know that you love them, let them know you love them. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought of this game, Evangeline. 
There will be a link in the description of the game if you guys want to purchase it yourselves and play it and probably, hopefully, read all these notes that I can't read right now that they put their energy into putting in the game. On top of that, I will put a link in the description to Self Care Jam that did go around a little bit ago. Uh, it's over now, but there were some games in there that were very similar to this, and I'll put the link to the games that I played from that jam because I really did enjoy those games as well. And they're like this, where they just remind you to take life right now and enjoy it. And I really appreciate it with when people create games like that because we all get so wrapped up that this is just a nice little reminder. But thank you guys for watching and hope to see you guys in the next game that I play. So keep winning guys.